There's Big Stan, back from the Hillhead show, looking a little bit dusty, but on parade. Those of you that didn't get a chance to have a look round, a full control panel. And because of health and safety with these type of machines, belt reelers, spoilers, have a remote control. So when any, you can just start it, you can set it in forward and reverse. The speed control is on the back of the machine. You can stop it. And also when you're trying to fit the belt, there's a jog button. So you can nicely either pulling it through a GTU or trying to put the first couple of laps on your spool so it doesn't uh, run away with you. And this is forward and reverse as well on the remote, just in case you're fitting a belt on site, you need to back it round like slightly, remove the obstruction, and then you can go press start, carry it on, winding it up. Speed control forward and reverse is set on the back of the main control box. And there is e-stops fitted to both sides just in case something does happen, stops this machine dead. Restart it, you just come back to the main panel, reset button here, and you are good to go again. We also build another different design, lots of different designs to be fair, of belt winders, reelers, spooling machines. Uh, there's even a little cubby hole here to hold your generator or whatever. You can run this off a generator, whatever you need. Safe working load, 15 tonnes. SKF bearings all round underneath there. Guarded system. 100 mil SKF bearings. This is 75 mil solid bar SKF bearings. Lifting points all round. These points here to hold the machine back if needed weighs just around just over four tons as it sits it will take a four meter diameter roll it will pull around five tons and 1800 wide belt the bar is around 2.2 meters wide so if your life depended on it you could pull a two meter on and you could lift it out over the roll of belt. It comes with a manual braking system. You can see these will all be painted up when you get it. Beautiful Buxton weather. Everything else is either coated or a type of steel that doesn't rust. So these manual brakes will be on so they basically hold it in place so you don't have any issues when you're unloading a roll of belt. It doesn't just rely on the inertia and the gearbox brake to stop it rolling back. Just an added safety feature. you see under here are not for any sort of structural reason these are just to keep the bar solid as I like to leave a little bit of room for ease to get the bar in and out it can be a tricky thing when you've got a crane but the way of pulling the bar out is literally just pull these pins lift this straight out this is a uh, solid bar 
inside a piece of 100 mil box. Obviously, we can also produce a different size bar and we also produce collars that fit this, that will fit your roll. All you need to do is uh, let us know what the core size is and we can uh, accommodate that, no problem at all.